Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and I'm the author of Curing Electromagnetic Hypersensitivity. And we're here to review this experiment. Now, these are all Diefenbachia plants, and the Diefenbachia typically has heavily patterned leaves, and they're the size of your hand. And this is one of the last of the original leaves of this plant, as is this one. So this plant right here is in the process of deforming in the magnetic field. So that's what it should look like. But as you can see, the ones that have been in the magnetic field for a long time don't look like that at all. And I should mention that this growth is actually very similar to the controls that I grew at my home that were in radio frequency fields. And those radio frequency fields were biologically harmful radio frequency fields. And I can tell you that my home is in a community of transmitting utility meters and also is near three cell phone towers. So that combination of radio field caused this growth to occur in my controls. So you can see that the leaf loses its patterning and it also goes glossy. So very, very different to what the Daikon back here should look like. So this is what they come into the home looking like. And then several months later, they look like this. So very, very typical for the control growth that I see in my home. And you can see that this one has a magnet in its base and the South Pole is covering the plant and the North Pole is in the roots. So you can't see it because it's all corroded, but right there is a magnet sitting on the soil. So we've got one half of the magnetic field coming up and the other half is going down. And this was the growth that we got. So it's not doing very well at all. Very few leaves. And the leaves that it does have, have the typical radio frequency exposure. And that's why I started this experiment was I was curious whether I could stop the radio frequency deformity by using magnets. And as you can see, that theory did not pan out. So this one has the North Pole facing up to the plant and the South Pole in the roots. And right there is a very corroded magnet. And you can see that this one is showing much more stress. So it's not doing very well at all. Now this is the best looking plant. And the reason for that is because it's yet to fully deform. And the reason why it's the best looking plant is because it was actually replaced. So the original plant died in August, 2014, and it was replaced and it's now January, 2015. So it typically takes a good six months for these plants to deform. And this is still in the process of deforming. But certainly the North Pole right now is not looking too good either. Um, we're just waiting for this plant to see if it's going to deform like the original one did. So this is the South Pole. So it has a magnet down in the base and there's only one field coming up all the way through the roots and the plant. And this is what it looks like. So South Pole right now appears to be the winner in this experiment because although the leaves are shiny and glossy and deformed and tiny, I mean, you wouldn't recognize this as a Diefenbachia. The thing that is noticeable about this plant is the volume of leaves. Now this is far above what I see in my control plants. So this is definitely behaving better than my controls, which means that there is some beneficial effect to the South Pole. So this is out of all the plants, the best one. And this one was probably the runner up because this one actually has a magnet down here. You can see it's all corroded now, but the field is a little bit different on this one. Half the plant this way is in one field and the other half of the plant this way is in the other field. So the plants seem to do quite well in that environment and it's still growing. And it's still putting up new leaves, but as you can see, 
We've still got these very shiny and radio frequency deformed leaves. So it was quite clear in this experiment that you couldn't offset the effects of radio frequency exposure using magnets. And that was the purpose of the experiment. So we're gonna leave this experiment running for a little while longer and I will do another update several months from now. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.